All right, so here we go. I'll do a couple of uh, shot ins here. Don't have the microphone, unfortunately. Uh, my bags were lost on the way down to uh, to Pittsburgh, so I'm flying in the uh, the clothes that I had for a couple of days. So uh, hopefully I'll be here this afternoon. I'll get the microphone and I can do some better shots. I uh, got lined out this morning, met with John um, here at the factory, getting ready to do my wings. I uh, got the wing kit out. Um, I'll give a couple pictures in there, a little bit of video. Uh, so we've got the wing cores. For those that aren't familiar, uh, Titan uses a uh, styrofoam foam leading edge on their wings. Um, I'll show some video here in a second of that. then you uh, build off the D-spot, and that's the, the stage that I'm at right now. So anyways, I'll uh, take some video of just walking around of the wings, and this is the project we're working on, and I'll update it from there. When I started the build, uh, I printed off the manual from the, the website, had everything tabbed and labeled, and it was pretty close to the actual factory book when I got here this morning. My luggage still hasn't arrived, so luckily I packed my copy in, the, in my carry-on bag. So this is my copy of the manual. Uh, I am in the section on wings, um, working through everything. So started with uh, drawing W1, so wing one, wing two, uh, then wing three and wing four. So uh, went through wing one, and there's a couple pictures of what that looks like without the, uh, the D-spar, or the D-spar is in there, but no ribs on either of the wings. And then from there, went through and laid out all the holes for each of the ribs um, as indicated. And then I went to the next stage, which is laying the wings out on the D-spar based on distance. It's actually been pretty nice being here in the factory. We'll, uh, I'll work with John tomorrow on a couple of things, but the one, a couple of my ribs are a little bit off in measurement. So we're gonna double check those first thing in the morning. So right now I was actually just going through and I'll show you what I look at, I'm looking at that way. So this is the right wing of the uh, aircraft with the uh, ribs in place. The only rib that's been drilled so far and attached to the D-spar is rib number one, which is this one on the end, which is actually attached right here at this point to a factory installed uh, piece of angle, bra iron or angle bracket. And so that one's riveted in place, ready to go with the uh, mounting points. You'll see right there on the end of these pieces right here that are for uh, mounting it to the center section of the aircraft. So got those in place with Rob's help this morning. That was the first one we did. Got it clicoed in place and, and set up. The rest of them, uh, the ribs, are measured off of the actual angle bracket from the uh, outside uh, part of that angle bracket. So all the measurements were done before I put this piece, that uh, rib number one in. Have them all uh, Coleco clamped in place. So this is rib number one. Top of the wing is that direction. And you'll see that measurement right down there is 15 inches to the outside outboard edge of the rib. The next one is at 30 inches on the outside edge. On all of them is the outside edge. So 30 inches. This one is 45 inches. This one is 
60 inches. This one is number six rib is at 75 inches. And the very last outer rib is at 89 inches to the out outboard edge. So that is the right wing. Come back over here to the left wing. So you'll see the wing um, as indicated on the website and other places. The leading edge is a styrofoam leading edge that is wrapped and bonded with the aluminum skin. And that helps it to have that nice pretty curve as it goes around. So this is the left wing. This is the inboard side that mounts to the center section with the same mounting brackets. Same with the uh, that angle iron or the aluminum angle right there. This is rib number one. And then the same thing, I've got a clean coat in place, and drill holes are drilled. This first one here is 15 inches. This is an interesting one right here. I'm gonna have to wait until tomorrow morning to, to drill this one. Um, if you look closely, you can see that the rib doesn't actually go in between, it doesn't touch the uh, bottom part of that D spar right down here. There's a gap. And so I double check with, with John, it could be that it was bent improperly. That's one of the nice things about being here at the factory is we can get that double checked in the morning. Uh, double check my measurements. It's at 15 and not fitting. So if you look right here, you can see on the tape, the outer edge, uh, I'm doing it by hand because I don't have a clamp right there. Outer edge is at 15 and there's still a gap there. So we'll get that figured out in the morning with the crew here. The rest of them all fit on this wing. I had one that was similar on the right wing. Uh, this one is at 30 inches. This one right there is at 45. And you can tell I double checked it to make sure. So 45, the tape's sitting down a little funny. Uh, then this will be at 60 inches. This one will be at 75 inches. And this one will be at 89 inches. So I'm gonna go through the process right now, double checking them to make sure. So those are the wings up to the ribs being installed and we'll start the next process uh, here in a little bit and then do some more tomorrow. So signing off. So we've got the ribs on the wings established on the left and the right wings. Then later on, I'm gonna start dig, uh, going to the next stages, which is the bracing pieces in here. So that'll be later on this evening while I still wait for my bags to show up. 